what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start to work with, um, with the, the, the data that's already been collected through the um, through the form. So let's um, the first thing we're going to do is roll on down here um, into Node. We'll see print <coughs> render content. Now the content variable um, is everything that's coming from um, Drupal um, through the the form field. So if you know if you're in here, manage fields manage display everything here um, that is not hidden um, is going to be displayed um, the way you kind of set it up <coughs> in that content variable right so maybe we want the type to be above that the body and we're going to save that um, then the next time we render this content here I'm going to get rid of this DSM node hold, hold on. DSM node I'm going to um, flush all cases for a sec. Sorry, this will, this will be my next point I guess I'm making. Is that we can see that this Titan um, house is coming above um, this node or, or the, um, the body. <coughs> right? Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, because we installed the div module, you could use just PHP var dump. But underneath this content here, I'm going to get rid of the content, so straight up just hide the content, or comment it out, and hit DSM node, because I want to see what is in the node variable. The content, we already explained um, what the content variable is, um, but we are going to see what's in the node variable. So I'm just going to flush all caches, <coughs> and then this is all going to disappear and turn into a nice, I wonder if I save that. Yeah, because we have DSM um, now, it, it gives us this nice little um, visual cue for arrays. It, yeah, like I find it's just way easier just to do var dump, but but some people, you know, like the nested, um, or, you know, be able to walk down the arrays of of what you have. Yeah. <coughs> so let's um let's 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 deal with something easy. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna reset this back to. <coughs> I'm gonna go back to manage display, and I want to have this price hidden, and I want to have this price hidden as well in here. Okay. <coughs> so now, what that means is. Um, yeah, obviously the price is not going to be not going to be given to the node, right? So we just go wherever we want. It could be up here, it could be down here, it could be wherever we want. We could go, um, you know, um, or we'll just say div dot. Div dot price um, prices now, and then we're going to need some PHP price, and we are going to have to find the value um, that is put in there <coughs> so because okay because we know that or this field um, that's that's my price, that's my, my my field name, so I can just go like this, fire dump, and then I'll put a little arrow, um, field price, okay, so at least it gives us a starting block from where to look, alright, and then the price is now, and then you can see it's an array, and then with the value, so we want UND zero value, yeah, or safe value, Either one, your choice. <coughs> so I got node, field price, you got UND, you got zero, and you got value. And then when you you var dump that out, it's gonna give you, you know, the string. So you can just say, okay, echo um, price. So prices now, and then you can give this the old dollar sign, 
and might as well just have it in a code island. <coughs> Price is now, and that's what we put in, right? So when I edit this, I can go up to prices now. And I can save. It's just a string. So we got prices now. <coughs> um, you know, why why um, do we do it like that? Um, now it's just because we have 100% control in our template file of where that's going to go. We can reuse it, we can, you know, we can modify it, we can, um, you know, do anything that our heart desires with it, with that now. Um, <coughs> Alright, so, so that's a field, um, you know, or we can react upon it, right? You know, like, so you can, you can get, um, you can get, you know, like you can say, like if type equals house and then something you know some huge cool thing <laughs> can be can be there um, um, you know so so um, it's just an idea of how you can get um, this price happening now the images I want to make my own I custom image gallery so we're going to be um, um, discussing that in our next tutorial but that is the basics of of node, or you know, of, of, of printing data, um, you know, so you, you get the, you know, if it's in the node template, you get your node, you get your field name, and then you get UND, but you can all, always just var dump that and then um, get um, the values that you require. So, in our next tutor tutorial, we're going to talk about um, working with images in the themes. Yeah?